Alrighty, so this is the neighborhood. They're all very similar homes, just like cottage style homes. It did rain last night, which is why there's a puddle there. This is, off the top of my head, I would like to say this is an estate. Um, I'll confirm that for you. I just haven't looked at everything since this morning and it's about uh, three, four o'clock right now. But they did send me the inspection report that the last buyer had. And the last buyer was just kind of squirmy about things. So they didn't want to purchase the home, but they did send over the inspection report. It is wood siding, so the siding could use some touching up. The vents look like they've been painted over and that's just some chipped paint coming off. Could be painted over again. Could use some, like a nice coat of paint on there. Very cute front porch though. Gets a ton of sunlight. There's a lockbox on the front door here and it was very hot um, because it's in the sun. It needs a doorbell, but at least, you know, it's capable of that. And coming in, it's very, just like light and bright. It does have like a particular smell. <laughs> it has like that older person home smell, but I'm sure if you could get rid of that. Just needs a good cleaning. But that is when you walk in. So you walk in and you're, you could do a couple of things. So you could just put like a seat there and all of your other furniture here, your TV, technically like they have your TV over here. So your couch would be where the door is. Very tall ceiling, so it makes it feel a lot larger. And dining room space over here, kitchen over here just need to repaint a little bit. There is something before I walk away that I noticed. Um, it does look like there's just the tiniest bit of settling up there. We're just pulling away a little bit, but on the floor, it looks okay. So it just might be where the way that they had that molding put up there might have been unleveled or something. And then right around the return, it's just a little discolored. So it looks like most of this is going to be original for you, which is not a bad thing at all. Gives you space to make it your own. Let's circle back to where we started so I don't get off track. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be your kitchen. This by no means is a load bearing wall. It doesn't go all the way up. So if you wanted to make it open concept, you definitely could, but it's good how it is. Apparently you cannot use that bottom outlet over there. You can only use the top outlet. These appear to be the original cabinets and they could absolutely be refinished and just painted over. Like there's barely a finishing on them right now, so be easy peasy. And they're in great shape. Countertop's in good shape. Looks to be the original stove. But everything, it doesn't look bad at all. Just needs a good cleaning to start. And then this view is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. I don't know if you could get the full effect. There you go. That's beautiful. And then just want to give you a peek at the ceiling. There's no leaks that I can currently see. There looks to be some condensation over by the back door, which is very, very, very normal. You will leave the back door open with the air on 
and humidity loves to create condensation. And then we will go out here. Oh, this is a very fun room. There's even attic space in here. That's so neat. They have a window unit. All of these windows are wonderful. Very cool. And this view is beautiful. Look at that view. Very cool. This one has a top lock lock, so I don't have the key for that. So when I go outside, I'll just walk all the way around. But from in here, it looks good. I do see a little bit more wood rot outside. I mean, never ever understood why they use wood frames. Like, I understand you have to use like wood frame structured at the beach or everywhere but like why do you use wood siding at the beach it's a lot to maintain sometimes not bad these floors should be easy to go over they're just your um i think it's laminate i always call it peel and stick HVAC seems to be working. It's set to 71 and it's 73 in here. That looks to be a much older leak. And we saw this part already. That's your other attic access for the interior of the home. They did cork board in here. That's different. Could fit I would say you could absolutely fit a king bed in here still it might not be comfortable in this room but you could fit it in here and you have a GE electric box the floors don't feel squishy but they're definitely making noises like they're creaking and this carpet is not in bad shape it needs to be um, like stretched out because it's a little like if you can tell in that room you can't really tell too much but in this room you can tell that it's a little bit crinkly so if you wanted to keep this carpet you could just tuck it back get it tucked I guess this is a great size master and again you have wonderful views You could tell exactly where their bed was. <laughs> and I think there's probably some sort of dresser right here. But they painted. Very good size closet. You can see it goes all the way across. And then you have your master bath. Shower. These doors are interesting. They're like baby French doors. And one has a mirror on the other side. That is a really nice shower with two seats in there. I'd say that's about a five foot shower. 
You could probably make that a double sink. There's enough space there. Very nice. And then we can walk around the outside. Please let me know after I send this to you if you do have any questions at all, like if I missed anything, especially for the next one. Um, if there's anything that I missed, if there's anything you have questions about. Looks like there's a settling crack right there for you. Original windows in here, it appears, because these appear to be wood windows versus your normal vinyl windows. Then you come out and the houses around the whole area all look relatively the same. You are on a crawl space here. Oh, look at the cat across the street. It's digging for something. So right here, if you can kind of see this ditch that runs right through the middle, that's your property line. So not a ton, but you do have a lot of bushes over here. Looks like somebody was under the crawl space. Spray paint with that. Most other people appear to have a higher, um, I always want to call them water walls, but they're not water walls. Um, the walls those things just so you know what I'm talking about I can't think of the name right now most people have higher ones just because it is taking away from your land right here and the grating has just been washed away and put into the water essentially so a lot of them have higher ones so it doesn't get washed in I'll think of the name of that eventually so back here we have some steps that come off the porch You definitely have some wood rot over here. It's going all the way into the insulation. It's a nice little spot to hang out. You're like tucked away from everybody viewing you along the water. And then you have this space in here. Enough for a lawnmower, maybe some other stuff. And you would be golf cart distance to the beach. I'll take you with on my drive out so you can see where you're located. There's a little bit more wood rot right along that side right there. Um, I can't quite get back there, but it looks to be okay. Yeah. I just have some 
They had vines over here. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. And this is our HVAC. Oh, I would say this is at least 10, 15 years old. So that's the house in the neighborhood. Okay, let me drive you out of the neighborhood so you can see. You might hear my seatbelt thing start going crazy. So sorry about that. You can mute it if it gets annoying. <laughs> So that's the house. There are only a handful of properties that come with garages in here. decent amount of properties in here and everybody is super quiet it is a 55 and up but everybody is also very very kind so you can see some people have golf carts they just park them out front and put a lock on the wheel you have a few other places down there And you would honestly never know this place is back here because it's tucked away on like a little frontage road. And look, they have like a bunch of fun things. Like coffee break, bingo. How fun. And it is in a gated community. And then you pop out and in order to make it golf cart distance you would have to go right to that light over there and then left where those cars are going straight across right now you just go straight across that's garden city connector just keep going straight and you would be at the garden city beach you can also make it to food lion and a couple of restaurants over there.